1976, Morrisburg, Canada was the site of the greatest car stunt ever performed. This event was known as the Super Jump. Stuntman Kenny Powers would attempt the longest car jump in history. His goal was to jump the St. Lawrence River. The distance would be one mile. An eight and a half story ramp was constructed for his rocket powered Lincoln Continental. Once the car would leave this ramp, it would sail one mile over the river and land on Ogden Island in the state of New York. This jump had been in the planning for over four years. Over one million dollars had been spent and 110,000 yards of dirt had been moved to construct this special runway. Kenny Powers would be jumping three times the distance Evil Knievel had tried to achieve during his jump at Snake River Canyon. Powers' car would reach a takeoff speed of 280 miles an hour. Within seconds, he would reach an altitude of 300 feet. His body would undergo a force of over 30 Gs. Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Kenny Powers' problems started on the ramp. The bumps which had worried Carter made the car bounce, cracking the fiberglass body. Powers was thrown around inside the cockpit and he couldn't keep his foot on the pedal. As a result, the car which was supposed to leave the ramp at 270 miles an hour was only going 180. There was not enough thrust to make the trip. The wind caught the car, ripping off parts of the cracked bodywork causing the parachutes to deploy ahead of schedule. This was fortunate. They saved Kenny Power's life. Oh. Ready, go. Oh. Powers has broken eight vertebrae. He has three cracked ribs and a fractured wrist. In his nine second flight, Kenny Powers flew a distance of only 506 feet. <laughs> 